because I had such a strict upbringing, I grew up feeling like I was always watched. I was always like helpless. I couldn't even like change a tire. I didn't even like know how to do any of the, like this stuff because, you know, those things are not for women. This isn't a shot at like the religion or the culture. It affected me like who I am now as a person. I tried, I tried to like, you know, I like wear the headscarf. I tried to like go to lectures and like just be like this post model, like Muslim girl. It was such a traumatic, painful experience that I don't ever see myself going back. I am, I liberated myself and I'm happy right now. I mean, I wish the best for all my friends and family and whoever like is still in that faith. And, you know, it's just for me, it didn't work out. You know, it just didn't work out. How did you, how did you end up on snow? Well, when I was in high school, my uncle took me to Blue Mountain. It was like super uh, painful and scary, but I freaking loved it. Like I fell in love with it. I was like, I want to go back. My name is Miriam, known as Mayhem Miriam. My pronouns are she, her. I was born in Passaic, New Jersey, but I spent most of my life growing up in uh, Amman, Jordan, which is in the Middle East. I was never an athlete. Like I never was able to join any sports teams because we really didn't have any like for girls. It was always for the boys. It was always for them. I'm a scientist full time. When I landed the scientist job, my first paycheck, I bought a snowboard. I was like, this is what I want to do, dude. It was everything to me. Like, I still love that board. Yeah, and so, it was yours. You did it. Yeah, exactly. Like, no one's out. Like, nothing, you know? I, I am more creative now. I, like, I couldn't even be more grateful. It's such a humbling experience. I feel like everyone should try it. One time I met this uh, Muslim girl who was like, her, it was her first time she was, there with her, she was there with her brother. So he reached out to me and he goes, hey, can you help my sister go down? I spent like probably 45 minutes with her. At the end of it, like I told her like, don't give up, like come back here. If you love this, like, like don't be afraid to like do things out of your own comfort zone. One day I, that I went to Corinthia and I hit my first rail and it was like such a baby little flat bar, but like, holy shit, dude, it changed me forever. I always have like my homies like dapping me up, like hyping me up whenever like I hit something. And it's just such, it's such a good feeling, you know, especially having your girls there. It's just like the best feeling, feeling in the world. Like we're watching all of us progress so much. It's just like, yeah, like you fucking earned it, you know, <laughs> like you got here for a reason. And just, yeah, if you're, if you're ever feeling intimidated, there's like so many girls out there just like you who also feel intimidated. So let's all ride together. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of culturally, like you have like your family, you take care of each other, you got each other's backs. And I'm Palestinian. So like my people have always been like, fight for what you believe in. And you know, like, it's just, it, it's in me. There's a fight. There's always like a fight, you know, but I think it's always like for a good cause. I am so proud of like being the Palestinian girl on the slopes. Like I want more people to come. And like, I feel like, I hope at least that like some, you know, kids see that and feel like, yeah, like there's Palestinian chick who's trying to like hit the park. So maybe I'll hit the park. Maybe I'll start snowboarding, you know? I, that, would, that would feel really good, but um just don't get discouraged. Like it, you know, you're not dead. Just keep going, keep going at it. Don't stop. Don't let anyone tell you like you can't do something, you know, don't ever. Cause you, there will be people that you need that might make you feel that way. But honestly, the biggest person that's stopping you from being where you are is like yourself. So gotta tell yourself I can, I'm limitless. I could do everything.